Uh, Bri, what's with all the cell zombies? Hmm. Must be my Instagram. Stand back. I'm trending. Prince Xander is headed to the small U.S. town of Maywood Glen today for his highly publicized trip to outer space, the latest of the popular British royals' international adventures. I can't believe he's coming here tomorrow. I can't believe tomorrow is tomorrow. You think he's got a girlfriend? Duh, he's a royal. He must have a girlfriend in every country. I want to be his space princess. Not me. I want to... Pick his brain about his spacecraft's orbital velocity. Hey, Cam, doesn't your dad work for Space Inc? She can introduce us to the prince. Sorry, but Cam would need, like, top secret clearance from her dad, so forward slash, let's dash. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Didn't mean to crash into you. Let me help you with that. No, no, thanks, I got her. I mean, um, it. I got it. You're new, right? Uh, yeah, I'm new, brand new. That's what I am, just the new kid, no big deal. So we just made a really bad impression on the transfer student? Go, Go us. us. <laughs> it's okay, really. No broken bones, no chipped teeth, no split ends. I'm fine, perfectly fine. I'm fine too, Michaela. Who said that? Said what? I heard someone coughed down the hall. You okay back there? I should probably go check. It wasn't a cough. I heard words. Sounded like it came from your notebook. Oh, oh! That, that was my cell. Hey, girlfriend, what's up? Yeah, let's meet at the mall, at some store, near another store. Michaela, huh? That girl is definitely I-A-W-A-T-S-T. Yeah, she is interesting and weird at the same time. Yeah. When was the last time I acronymically stumped you? We were five, Maywood Park. And what are these drawbridge on the sand castle we were Addison, how was that helping me to blend in? You're right, you're right. Notebooks don't talk. They act like notebooks. I promise, as soon as I do the job, you're free to talk your binding off. But in the meantime, wise move. Now let me handle this. The main office. Psst, proceed up the stairs. I can't believe I'm finally taking the ultimate trip. <gasps> As a kid, I always wanted to go to space and battle aliens with laser swords, like that documentary with the astronauts that I saw about the war and the stars. <laughs> My family thinks I'll get into less trouble up there than I will down here. We'll see about that. Nothing, nothing, nothing! Stop it! You're gonna get keyboard forehead again. What's up? You know that Michaela girl? I found out at school that her last name is McAllister. I did a search on every social media site and couldn't find a single D about who she is or where she's from. No way. Nobody can hide from the internet, especially from you. Except for her. It's like she's some kind of ghost. Yeah. Very fashionable ghost. Trucies. Dad, what are you doing home? Uh, it's okay, Cam. There was some commotion at the office. I just couldn't concentrate. Something's up at Space Inc.? What's wrong? Uh, well, it's probably nothing. But the office received a strange phone call. Some type of anonymous threat against the Prince's launch. Who'd want to hurt the Prince? He's harmless. And adorbs. <laughs> and entertaining. Which makes him totes adorbs. I know, right? Totes adorbs. But apparently, somebody doesn't agree with you. Attention, Space Inc. Dismantle your plans for the Prince's launch immediately. I'm warning you, there will be devastating consequences for people around the world if Prince Xander's flight is not canceled. That's all I can say. Well, I'm totally creeped out. Well, the office gets crazy messages like this all the time. Everyone just thinks it's a hoax. And you? I'm not so sure. You know, last night, I accidentally left my laptop at the office closed. And this morning, it was open. That's kind of freaky. Yeah, I thought so too. And with this weird phone call message, I'm thinking somebody's trying to get some information about the flight. Well, if you want, I could tap into Space Inc. security system and see if anyone's been lurking around there. Uh, it's impossible to break into the cameras. The uh, firewall is... Uh, is I mean... Is... Man, you were good at that. Look, there. Do you know who that is? 
I can't tell. I mean, it could be a janitor or a security guard. Looks more slender. Maybe the security guard's doing Pilates. Or maybe it's a woman. Hmm. Maybe. I, I better go call security. Thanks, girls. Look at us. We're like expert detectives, right? I bet if we do some investigating of our own, we can find that sketchy hacker ourselves. Bet we could. Now think, who in our tiny little town would want to threaten the prince and his mission? Got me. It's like the coolest thing to happen here since Emma Danielson thought Selena Gomez was following her on Instagram, but then found out it was a different Selena Gomez. Ah, but what if the blurry hacker isn't from here? What if it's someone who recently showed up out of nowhere, makes excuses, and carts around an eight by 10 of the prince? Hmm. What an interesting and weird thought at the same time. We've got to figure out how to get past that security perimeter. Well, these spy glasses are pretty rad. Anyway, it's got some tight tools. My turn, my turn. Let me see. Looks more suspicious to me. Hmm. Super sketch. That's got to be them. Whoever it is that wants to stop the prince, they're moving in fast. We've got to get past that guard and get to him before they do. Uh, guys, that was my urgent voice. Mm -hmm. No biggie. I got this covered. Amazing. What did you do? I just rerouted his computer to stream an endless loop of funny cat videos. <laughs> he should be distracted for at least an hour. Very impressive. Thanks. Let's bolt before he catches on. Yeah, uh, since anybody asked me to guide you through this, here's lesson number one. Secret agents don't bounce. Oopsies. <laughs> and they don't say oopsies. Hey, hey, hey. Where do you girls think you're going? And how did you get in here? Sir, I'm Agent McAllister, and I've been assigned to watch over the prince and ensure that he safely boards his space flight. Well there, Harriet the spy. I look after the prince, OK? You know, no visitors allowed inside, so you lot are going to have to go home and swoon over his snap book like all the other fan girls, OK? <laughs> it's Snapchat. You see, you were mixing up Snapchat and Facebook. <laughs> Sir, you don't understand. I work for an elite group of women operatives from all over the world. Oh, hey! Is this what usually happens? No, not when I'm on my own. What do we do now? They're never gonna let us in. Mm -hmm. You're right, they won't. Not a chance. And this is what I call a red alert. Hashtag Amazeblogs! 
Guys, it's on. A quick follow-up to an earlier story regarding the plot to steal cyber data by the Black Star Security Company during a recent shuttle launch. Sources tell us that the four Maywood Glen Academy girls who were credited with saving the day had, in fact, nothing to do with saving the day. Just four kids in the right place at the right time. Charming? Yes. Heroes? Not. But we stopped Black Star. We were heroes. I'm calling someone. Wait, who am I calling? Oh no, my followers aren't following me. For a moment, we had become the most popular secret spies in town. There must be some mistake. Yeah. Wait, maybe this isn't a mistake. You're right. Michaela. You of all people should have known that for a secret agent to be successful, she needs to remain secret. It has to be enough to know your capabilities and strengths. Public praise is not something we seek. I seek it. Sorry, I guess we did get a little caught up. And that's why I had to reestablish your cover. Now, before you'll be assigned another case, I'm sending you all back to basic training. Until then, you'll return to Maywood Glen Academy as ordinary students. Girls, I know you'll do your best to help Michaela fit in. Wait, wh why do I have to go back to basic? I mean, it's not as if I made that big of a scene. Really? You certainly got your groove on, Em. Okay, but... I still don't think it's necessary it's to- not up for discussion. You have your orders. That's a side of quail we haven't seen before. Hashtag harsh. Tell me about it. Can you imagine her being your mom? Nightmare. One day, I will come face to face with this quail and I will have words for her. And the first word that comes to mind is Stylish! Totally. Yeah, You're really? Awesome. And I love your shoes! What? I've never seen her below the waist. Hello, Adrian, Bryden, Cameron. Guys, uh, meet my mom. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Quail. It's Mrs. McAllister outside the lab. Now, have a good day at school. And remember, Michaela's always been a little socially challenged. Do your best to help her out. You know, up until third grade, she wouldn't leave the house without Mr. Fuzzy Bear. Remember, honey? Mom! Sorry. Love you, sweetheart. Well, that was more awkward. Project MC Squid.